The big news right now in the world scene is Ukraine. Will Russia invade Ukraine? Anywhere from 75 to 100,000 Russian troops have been massed for some time on that border, along with rockets and tanks. Uh, even as I speak, it could be happening by the time we get this up on the web and you're watching it, the invasion could have already happened, or we could still be in a stalemate wondering when and what exactly will happen. There was an article in the February 14th, 2022 Wall Street Journal, an editorial called The New World Disorder. A line or two from that will help put this in perspective. Quote, a Russian invasion of Ukraine would be a seminal event that accelerates the new world disorder. The signs have been building for years, but America and its allies are unprepared, as democracies usually are, for the trouble to come. And of course, the article goes on to show that there is trouble not just in Ukraine, but also with Iran, very close to a nuclear weapon development, China and its bid to uh, become a world power and also possibly invade the island nation of Taiwan, ballistic missiles from North Korea that could reach uh, in many parts of the world, including the United States. Big events, big issues are developing right now. The article from the Wall Street Journal uh, made this one point, none of this, is alarmist or far-fetched to anyone paying attention. So the question is, are you paying attention? Are you understanding what's taking place? Are you paying attention to this international crisis? And after all, what does it really matter to a Christian? Should it be of concern for those who are disciples of Jesus Christ, who are students of the Bible? And can we understand something out of the Bible that will help us to translate what is happening in the world scene today? Uh, the, the general thought among uh, many people is that the Bible is only dealing with our spiritual life and the bigger events of history, current events, no, not so much. But that would be a wrong assumption to make, as any of you that have been watching Beyond Today and reading our magazine for any length of time certainly understand. When it comes to Europe, what happens there makes history. Two world wars of the 20th century started in Europe. Europe is a very important area, not only from a political point of view, but also from a religious history point of view. And that brings us into the Bible, because when you have a proper understanding of history, religious and political history, what the Bible says in the books of Daniel and Revelation and the prophecies there are very far reaching into the world today. All of this is important. The Apostle Paul made a statement in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, that I think dovetails exactly with what I've been reading here. Let me read beginning in verse 1. Paul writes, Concerning the times and the seasons, brethren, you have no need that I should write to you. For you yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so comes as a thief in the night. For when they say peace and safety, then sudden destruction comes upon them as labor pains upon a pregnant woman, and they shall not escape. He goes on to talk about even more details about being in the light rather than being in the darkness. When it comes to understanding a big event like what is happening in the Ukraine right now and in Europe, Scripture like this helps us to ground ourselves to a point where we are aware, watching, seeking to understand the background to what is happening, but also to tie it into a biblical worldview and an understanding of prophecy that gives us light and understanding. And that for a Christian is very important. We'll talk more about this in another Beyond Today Daily. That is BT Daily. Join us next time.